Hi, I'm Rogero from One Foot in the Door, and today we're looking at a fantastic performance by Jackie Earl Haley in the movie Watchmen. Now, uh, we do need a bit of context to this, okay? So, heavy spoiler alert if you haven't seen it. And by the way, guys, go and watch it. Even better, go and read the comic book that this is taken from by Alan Moore. It's mind blowing. Although, I do really like the movie as well, to be honest. It, it's not perfect, there are things uh, that you know you might not like, but I, I really do enjoy it, okay? Now, heavy, heavy spoilers ahead. First of all, this is set in an alternate universe, okay? Where in the, before World War II, so in the 40s, some policemen started dressing up in costume and became costume heroes. A few years later, the one superhuman being is born, Dr. Manhattan. And he's not just a superhero, and he is literally a god. He can change matter at will, he perceives time, his own time, his own life, simultaneously, so past, present, future, all at once. And the story is about how his presence in, in the world has completely changed the course of history. Uh, Nixon has been elected like five or six times, and the world is on the brink of World War III. So in this very paranoid world and very afraid world for what is going to happen, one superhero called the Comedian is killed and another superhero called Rorschach starts to investigate. Rorschach is almost the only superhero remain that remained in activity because Nixon made all superheroes illegal. But Rorschach is He's a psychopath, he's a complete psychopath, but he truly strongly believes that uh, justice has to be served and there cannot be any compromise to this. Fast forward to the end of the movie, which is where we are now. We basically discover, and Rorschach discovers, that the, everything that happened was because of Veidt, the superhero Ozymandias, who has basically sent Dr. Manhattan away to Mars and used Dr. Manhattan's powers to simulate an attack to many cities around the world. And this attack, which looks like it was done by Dr. Manhattan, has united all the nations in the world, all the nations that were on the brink of destroying the world with nuclear holocaust, and they're now all united against Dr. Manhattan. So he's fabricated this threat and he's murdered millions of people to make this threat believable. Dr. Manhattan himself comes back from Mars and agrees that this is actually a good thing. This was the best possible course of action at this point because they now have peace. But of course, Rorschach can't just agree with this. Uh, there cannot be any compromise. It's his philosophy, never compromise. And so he walks out of the, uh, the facility in Antarctica where they are and this is what happens next. Out of my way. People have to be told. You know I can't let you do that. Suddenly you discover humanity. This has a huge meaning. Over the course of the whole movie, he referred to the mask as his real face. So the fact that he now takes it off is very deep and very dense and meaningful. If you'd cared from the start, none of this would have happened. I can change almost anything. But I can't change human nature. Of course you must protect by its new utopia. What's one more body amongst foundations? What are you waiting for? Ah! 
wonderful. That level of, of pain mixed with anger, mixed with regret, mixed with everything else, that's tough. That is really tough. And I know loads of actors who would not only struggle to get that, but to sustain it and to have the courage to show us that we see everything. That little tremor, that uh, the use of volume, which is brilliant. He's not shouting the whole thing at all. In fact, everything is extremely quiet to the point of whispering. And it's only in the end that when desperation really boils over, he screams. And if you've seen the whole movie, you can read in that in those reactions in that pain not just fear not just uh, you know he's not just afraid of dying uh, he knows that deep down he knows that he has to be stopped he knows that he doesn't have any choice in terms of keeping quiet just like dr Mahatam has no choice when it comes to preventing him from speaking out and there is just so much so many emotions and so many layers to his performance in that extremely emotional point that it's it's heartbreaking it really is heartbreaking let's watch one more time and if you'd cared from the start none of this would have happened I can change almost anything. But I can't change human nature. Of course, you must protect by its new utopia. What's one more body amongst foundations? What are you waiting for? Amazing, really amazing. So guys, let me know what you think in the comments below, please. And as always, please like, share and subscribe. And if you have any recommendations for other pieces of great acting that you want me to, uh, to talk about, again, please leave the comments below. Thank you very much. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.